Now this week we've shown you what goes on in the archaeology, collections, and paleontology departments at the North Dakota State Museum and Historical Society. Today we are wrapping up our behind the scenes look with Elizabeth Shores in the Archives Department. We're going to wrap up the series on the archives by talking to the woman who inspired it all, Sarah Walker. I first learned about Walker's story when I contacted her about a different story I was working on. Walker says growing up, she didn't know a job like the one she has in collections now was even an option for her. She says even though she often studied the exhibits, everything that went on behind the scenes was generally a mystery to her. As she got older, she saw there were job openings at the museum, and she started an internship there in college and has pursued a career there. I definitely belong in the archives. Um, I found my place, and I think a lot of us have. But I think all of the positions we have here are amazing, and all of the work that we do here is wonderful, and it's really exciting to be a part of it. Walker helps collect North Dakotan stories and catalogs them for future reference. Photos, videos, records, manuscripts, you name it, it's probably stored at the Historical Society. There we go. Lindsay Meidinger handles the digital portion of the archives, which the museum started keeping Somewhere. in 2016. We really think of this as the people's archives, so we want everyday's, everyday people's stories, uh, specifically to North Dakota. And uh, the heritage, history, and the happenings, everyday life is just as important as prominent figures. You can find all sorts of content in the archives, from kettle brand records to the first draft of the state's constitution. And archives are pretty much always featured in exhibits. Meidinger says there's so much that if they were to lay out all their physical paper records, it would be nearly eight miles long. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores, reporting for your news leader. Meidinger also says to archive all their paper content would take nearly nine years, working 24-7.